Hello YouTube and welcome to November's uh, Line Up Challenge. Today I'm going to use the new table that we've got here. Uh, it is a Riley Aristocrat. Um, it also was used in some form of professional championships. Don't know when, don't know where, but these pockets are particularly tight, especially those middles. They are extremely unforgiving. So I'm now going to put the camera over there and continue from here and see where I get to with these lineups. So yeah, see you again shortly. Right, so uh, thank you for firstly being here and this is continuing from that red that you just saw me box. And as you can see by the graphic on the left I'm going to use cue ball um, with the red dot of where I'm intending use that word properly intending to hit the cue ball and hopefully that's roughly where I'm getting it. Just gonna work the black to begin with. Caught myself a little hair off a of straight, so <coughs> excuse me, using a bit of running side there to help the cue ball up the table for this next red. Things going okay to begin with. The uh, the balls are fine in the pockets. That's always a, a good thing. I've only played on this table a few no. times. Yes, yeah, you can tell by my reaction there that that one's gone very very wrong. Hit that one way too firmly. But thankfully, although the cue ball was on the cushion, managed to keep my head down and still throughout the shot drop that red in nicely so I can do the same thing on this pink get back down to a scoring red that should take me on to the black so another little soft stun trying to always leave myself a high black just because it's a lot easier to manoeuvre that cue ball if you end up straight you can only go forwards or backwards unless of course you use a reverse or I don't know what the opposite of reverse would be on the side uh, reverse check don't know. anyway uh, and being low on the black means that you can only ever really cannon into the reds unless you get a situation where there aren't many reds and that one there is where I've over hit that one somewhat just done around to have a quick look see if any of the ones below the cube will go and also this table has got super fine cloth on it, I believe. And as you've just seen there, it keeps running and running. That was supposed to be for a choice of these three reds, either in the middle or the corner. So I'm going to attempt this red that the cue ball is almost touching. It's the possibility that we'll go into the middle. Yes, had to get that one as thin as possible and it still didn't manage to go in. So, there's the end of the first one. Yes, uh, straight into break number two. So, 47. Is the best so far. But we only get one, so yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can make 50 plus, as that is the normal target here. Okay, 
again using a bit of running side to just try and help that cue ball away from the side cushion to try and get it closer to the reds. virtually straight so I was just trying to use a bit of helping side there to get the ball to uh, go kind of up the line of reds but I over hit that one thankfully left myself a shot on that pink to uh, pink, red to the middle which leaves me on this pink This red just run this one in. Another high black. And, uh, I would say this one's a bit higher than I wanted, but it's probably not actually. Yeah, just using a little bit of check side there, as you can see, to try and keep the white away from the line of reds, which I've managed to do. So just a uh, soft screw on this red, which will then leave me basically the same shot on this pink to take me on to the next red. And then again, similar shot as I've got a bit more angle, which will then take me on to the black. Perhaps a little bit straighter than I wanted. I should be able to run this one off the top and then the side cushion. It's pulled up quite nicely for a choice. Just having a quick look there at what I want to do in the next sort of three or four shots. I haven't quite figured out how to use a, a power bar on uh, as a graphic to let you know how hard I'm hitting the ball. Oh dear, there's a wonky one. I've, hit two. I've tried to hit just to the right of centre of that cue ball to keep it away from the reds but also help it up the table because that pink was virtually straight. And yeah, because I've hit below the centre line of the cue ball, it kept white really close to the reds, which meant that I then uh, had to think about other things other than just the pot on that one. So the break ends on 67. Uh, what was I saying? Mm, oh yes, power bar. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to use that graphic yet. And also, a very important thing um, would be grip strength. So, a lot of the shots that I play, particularly on this table, the cue is, well, basically just resting in, in my cue hand. It's not even really being gripped, should I say. Um, the only time that I do do that is if I'm playing a full topspin or deep screw shot, uh, just because it's more control really. But I will have to visit that and make a video on that on its lonesome. So yes, you can see that one there. I've hit the keyboard in the correct place and it went on the line that I wanted it to go. But I didn't half hit that one hard when I didn't need to. So I'm just having a quick look to see if there are any reds that go. Have a quick bash at this one. And I live closer to the pocket than that red was. So that's the end of that one. It was uh, just an over 
overhit black there that caused the end of that particular break. Anyway, on to the next one. Uh, deciding to start on a different red. Just w wondering if that's going to make any difference to the uh, potential outcome. Working this side of the table. Uh, sorry, work working the the left pocket. So staying on this side of the table between red and black. Um, two reasons. Firstly, it's the required angle to get to the next colour. But also, <laughs> there's a little bit of laziness of not wanting to walk around the table. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys and girls ever do that. If you uh, play your positional shot, so you then don't have to walk so much. Now I've got to be a little bit careful with the red that's directly below the black, which is the one that I'm playing on now. So I'm just having a look. If I play this one normally, the black is going to go sailing into the red above it. So I'm using quite a lot of right-hand side, as you can see, because I wanted to use the side to essentially turn. It's not going to impart any spin onto the object ball, but it will widen the angle when you make contact with the object ball. So that's what I was using to pop that red. Which meant that the black itself stayed potable. Now red to the oh. middle and come back for the pink, but what a absolutely ridiculous miss that was. Shouldn't have missed that one. I'm a little bit poor. Never mind, break a 40. Break four now. So. so I've gone straight on this black. Slow down, cue ball. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, so that one I did have to play the deep screw on and off the cushion so that's one of those shots where I've gripped the cue slightly firmer just to make sure that I'm a little bit more positive with uh, the action just a trace of check side on that one to keep the white away from the line of reds again I do hope that for any of you guys that are uh, perhaps better or worse than me, um, that you can take good things in, away from me doing this and hopefully putting the correct uh, graphic up because if you can see what I'm doing right then you can try and emulate it, if you can see what I'm doing wrong you can make sure that you don't copy that. Because we all want to get better. So, in the same position as I was in the last break. Now, which red am I going to take? Uh, I was looking at the one to the middle, but thought, no, I want to take the one below the pink, just because it's going to keep me on the black and keep the score as high as possible. Oh, yes, not at all happy with that one. That one was definitely hit the cue ball in the wrong place. But I've made up for it with that red to the middle. That was almost a carbon copy of the one that I missed in the previous break. So happy that I rectified that one. I rolled through for this for the pink into this corner rather than trying to sort of stunny screw it in. And as you can see with the graphic there using running side and top as well just to make sure the white comes up. Uh, I was just playing for one of the reds sort of between the pink and blue to the left middle but where the table is exceptionally fast it just kept running and running 
Yes, and that one was supposed to hold below the bulk line for a choice of the bulk colours. Now, the only way I can see to get back down to the reds is this shot. I just didn't play mine as well as Ronnie played his. Admittedly, that was a black though. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I was playing that with lots of top and left hand side, so running side on that one to try and get the white to go back down the table. I'm here in this position and I can just about see the red that is between the pink and black. So I'm going to have an exploratory effort at this one. <laughs> and it's gone in! Oh, it's ridiculous. Those last two shots were particularly um, nice to play, actually. Right, brown to yellow pocket. Bounce off the cushion just above the middle bag. And that will oh, lend me nicely onto the reds. But that's not what has happened. Caught. Uh, what did I do there wrong? I hit potentially too low in the cue ball which is why the white decided to travel further down and hit the jaw of the middle pocket. So let's have a look at these results. Which on the whole for trying them on uh, this harder table of the three, uh, I'm quite happy with these actually. I mean, okay, yes, there's that 32. Um, but the rest of them are pretty good. You know, there's a couple of 60 pluses there. And which means that the average is one point lower than what I was aiming for a 50 uh, I say it's only 49 but I do still think that that's relatively good for an amateur on a table that uh, apparently Jimmy White says is as good as his star table that he plays on um, so if it's got a, a commendation like that from somebody as good as he is you know that it's playing well Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this one, and I hope you enjoyed it, and there is going to be another Snooker Stars video coming out on, uh, hopefully, Sunday evening, so do tune into that one, because that's, shall I say, interesting. Uh, for now, everybody, thank you very much for watching this, hope you enjoyed it, and take care.